This is Brian, Atlanta Hot Tub Center and Tub Talk 101. And today, guys, um, we're going to talk about um, how to, okay, in our opinion, guys, I got 20 years of cold plunging, okay? So I want to talk about um, the best way to, to cold plunge and what kind of happens to your body and what to expect and kind of some good practices that you may want to put into your cold plunge routine to make it easier each and every time. First things first, guys, I want to talk about the biggest reason why I love cold plunging and one of the biggest uh, health reasons, right, health and wellness reasons why cold plunging is growing at such a rapid pace. Guys, it's inflammation. They say that if you cold plunge four to five times a week that you have no inflammation in your body, okay? So, uh, with that being said, if you move your elbow right now and it's bothering you, that's inflammation, right? If your ankle is swelled up and it's bothering you after a long day of work, that's inflammation. Is your lower back bothering you from sitting in an office chair all day long, right? That's inflammation, okay? Does your knee bother you after you go on a long run? Guys, that's inflammation. So what does cold plunging does do? It sucks all the inflammation out of your body. Now it has a bunch of other health stuff, guys. We can talk about proteins that, and shock proteins and all this different stuff. We're not gonna get into that today, okay? I mainly cold plunge because I wanna get the inflammation out of my body. Guys, why do we do all this stuff? Whether you talk a hot tub, a sauna, a cold plunge, swim spot, all this stuff, you do it to feel good, right? Feeling good is just so important Man, feeling good affects your, your, your attitude, uh, your efficiency, just, just your relations, just everything you do, right? Feeling good is really, really, really important. And to me, that's what a cold plunge does for me. It makes me feel good, which is why I do it. So I'm going to go forth and I'm going to cold plunge today in our product. And I want to go over a couple of things before I do. One of the biggest things, guys, when you're about to cold plunge, first, set a timer, okay? Uh, 50 degrees, okay, is what I'm gonna cold plunge in today. They say do not go any lower than 45 degrees because it is a diminishing return, which means that if you go to 30 degrees, you're not gaining a lot. So why cold plunge in anything less than 45 degrees? Quite frankly, to me, it just doesn't make sense. Number two, right, set a timer, and I'm gonna set my timer today for two and a half minutes because that's all you need. I'm gonna get all the inflammation out of my body at 50 degrees in two and a half minutes. Dusty's gonna set my timer, but I would suggest you actually buy an actual timer. You can buy them on Amazon for like 20, 30 bucks. It's an actual gym timer. They're like 20 or $30, and they're huge letters, and you set it for two and a half minutes, and when it goes off, you get out. There's no reason to cold punch for 10 minutes, okay? It's not gonna do anything uh, for you, and quite frankly, it could, it could hurt you, okay? Um, you wanna make sure that, of course, you're healthy enough to cold punch, so consult your physician or your doctor. Okay, so timer is number one. Okay, number two is breathing, guys. Breathing technique. Breathing technique is really, really, really important when you get into a cold punch. It's gonna feel like the, your, your breath has been taken out of you, right? So if you don't talk to anybody and you stay focused here and you just continue to breathe as you're getting into the cold plunge, shut your eyes, you'll find that you'll work through it and that it is not that bad, really. And after about 30 seconds or so, um, you don't feel a whole lot anyway, right? I mean, you, you do kind of go a little bit a little bit numb. Your body does adjust to those cold temperatures and you go a little bit numb. Again, you don't want to get in for too long. So, and it's also important that number three, if you're a new cold plunger, 50 degrees is not for you. You need to start at about 70 degrees, 75 degrees in cold plunge, then go to 70, then go to 65, then go to 60, and each step, you wanna give it a couple weeks. So if you're starting at 70, give it a couple of weeks before you go to 65. Give it a couple of weeks, right? And then go to 60, give it a couple of weeks, then go to 55, right? You need to slowly drop the temperature. Don't just jump in at 50 or 45 degrees. If you do that, I guarantee you'll hate it. You will just absolutely hate it. Your body adjusts to things. It's like working out, right? You do a set or you lift, you lift and you do bench press, you do a certain weight one week, you can do more weight a couple weeks later, more weight a couple weeks later, because your body's getting used to you doing that exercise, right? So it's the same thing here. So here we go. Uh, Dusty, as you guys know, he's my camera guy, and he's gonna go ahead and set my timer. 
for uh, two and a half minutes, okay? And that's how long I'm going to cold plunge for. So, Dusty, here we go. I'm gonna take this off. Tilt this guy up. Okay. Don't need this. This. All right. So, guys, when I step in here, this is a pretty quick process. If you step into this guy quickly or, or slowly, you're going to hate it. Hate it quick. So, get in. Once you get in, go down quickly. Just go down. And then focus on your breathing. Stay focused. Stay focused on your breathing. Focusing on your breathing is very, very important. Clear your mind and just relax. Just think about something else and, and relax. Think about what you did earlier in the day. My body is basically adjusted at this point. Um, my breathing for the most part is normalized. You will feel um, like your breath is, is slightly a little bit shorter than, than not as deep as it would normally be, but that's normal to feel that. Um, it's not super uncomfortable, um, just different. So I've been in for about two and a half minutes, guys. And at this point, I'm going to jump out of here, get my clothes on. Now, if you have a hot tub or a sauna and you want to jump into that, which uh, can, be, can be a pretty nice touch to the ending here, you'd want to give it four or five minutes and let your body kind of regulate its temperature before you go forth and do it. At this point, I'm not feeling a whole lot, guys. I'm pretty numb, so none of this is really bothering me at this point. All right, so guys, I'll tell you, already I can kind of, yeah, I know I'm very, very cold, but already, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, I can feel that it's really kind of sucked that inflammation out of my body. I mean, my, my joints feel better, knees, everything, just, just feels so much better, right? And if you do it every single day, you're really gonna see, if you make it a habit, you're just really gonna see a difference. I think you'll find that you really just feel better every single day. This is Brian at Atlanta Hot Tub Center, and cold plunging, right? And the number one reason you might want to consider cold plunging. Thanks.